Hey everybody, what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. We got another good one for you. We got the classic Capcom NES game, DuckTales. I loved this show when I was a kid, and I think anybody around my age would probably say the same thing. I'm sure you remember watching it. You remember that iconic theme song, and you probably still know every word to it. Don't lie, you know it. Uh, the, this is a really fun game that Capcom had. Thank goodness Capcom got the license to do the Disney games. God, could you imagine if LJN had got this? Lord. But we did get this one and a bunch of other Disney games, and they're all pretty good. Pretty much anything from Capcom is good. They're one of the top tier game developers of that era. They gave us a lot of great titles. But one thing that always confused me or made me wonder, I was like, why was there no arcade game of DuckTales? Or, I don't really remember any Disney arcade games. There may have been one or two, I, I, can't, I can't remember. But there was not a DuckTales one. I always thought it would have been cool to see a DuckTales arcade game. But we did get two NES games. There's the first one, DuckTales, great game. This is essential for your NES collection. I would personally put this in my top five favorite NES games. And this one is gonna run you 10 to 15 bucks. You can pick this up anywhere. This is a must have. But then they also give us DuckTales 2. Now this is a late release for the NES. I did not even know this existed as a kid. Never saw it. Didn't get it till I started collecting. This one is going to hurt your wallet's feelings. If you can find it on the emulation or, or reproduction, that might be what you need to do. Or at least run it by your wife first before you buy it. <laughs> but here we go. We're going to play classic NES game DuckTales. Let's go. Just gotta listen to that music for just a minute. <laughs> Alright, you got easy, normal, and difficult. The only difference is difficult when you get hit by the enemies, it takes more damage off of your life. Of course, on easy, it takes less. I'm gonna go normal. And you get to pick your stages as you want to do them. I'm going to go to Transylvania first. I like to do the stages where you can find the secret bonuses to your health. I had extra life up there. I can remember a lot of people having trouble with the controls of this, the way Scrooge bounces around. You have to hold down when you're attacking your enemies there and bounce on them. It can take a minute to get the hang of this, but once you do it, it's easy. It's really easy. And there's the secret. You walk through the wall there. And you can tell if they're top left, it added another little bubble to my health meter. life. Now you can jump in those mirrors and it'll take you different places. And this uh, stage is a kind of maze-like if you don't know where to go. But uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are hit around and they give you a clue that you can walk through some of the walls. And we've done it down below and we're doing it here. Go through there, jump in the mirror on the right and it takes you to the boss. Jump that ghost there. I'm going to fight Magic of the Spell. Oh, she's low. I can hit her extra time there. You have to hit each ball five times. This will be the fifth one here. And there's the treasure. Now you'll notice when you're playing this, uh, 
the money and the diamonds or whatever it just appears out of thin air. You have to do a lot of exploring, jumping around different places, different little nooks and crannies to make the big diamonds appear. The more money you get, the more money it shows you with at the end. At the, on the end scene, it shows Scrooge with a treasure chest. And the more money you collect, the bigger pile of treasure is around the, the chest. I forget how much you have to get to get the best ending. But it does make a difference. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to try to beat it for you. We'll go to the Himalayas next. That's where the other hidden bonus is to your health meter. That was a red diamond back there. They give you a lot more. These mountain goats are going to come up here. you got to time these things just right to hit them. They can be a pain in the rear end. There's a red diamond. I didn't look to see how much it gives us, but I'm not going to go down right there because that, if you do that, you will not be able to get to the secret spot. I don't, well, maybe you can. I don't know. We're going to go right here, though. This little secret. <laughs> now, if you come over here and jump, right there was an the extra life. Another one thing just appears out of the air. You just got to jump around and explore. There's Launchpad. If you need him to take you back to the manor, you can. We don't need that right now. I believe if you let him take you back, when you come back through the stage, you can get all the money again. Like if you die, go back to the beginning, come back through. Everything you've already got is not there. I think if you leave the launch pad and come back, it may be there again. I could be wrong about that though. And he's gonna tell us that Bubba Duck is trapped in the ice, and that's where we're going right now. That's how you get the extra health. And there he is. You gotta knock this thing over here, bounce up here on the ice, knocks him out. He's gonna show us the secret treasure. And that'll be our fifth health health bar up there. Backtrack over here to where launch pad was and go back up. Right here. Now we're going to go to the left. <laughs> Not sure why the hockey players are in this, huh? Never remember a character like that in DuckTales, but who knows. There's one of the Beagle Boys. A little secret area right up here. We'll go do that real quick. A red diamond. boss this is going to be I guess a Yeti you just catch him when he gets to the center you can hit him when he's on the left and the right but you got to be careful of the ice falling three so I'll hit him this time it's hard to do it without getting hit <coughs> the speedrunners do it I've seen the um, speed runs and world record of this and they're hitting the bosses somehow very quickly so I don't know how they're doing it I'm just not that good <laughs> more power to them so we'll go to Amazon now and you can hit these stumps and make diamonds pop up and I know on this stage there's a lot of diamonds pop up in the air out of nowhere so if you were going for that good ending, you would really need to search around and find all the little secrets. 
I'll show you a couple here in a second. And you have to backtrack and make sure you go through all of the stages. I'm only hitting the high spots here. So here's a little secret, knock that little thing over here, get up on top of the wall. And then you can even go a little further. A red diamond. Careful here, you have to let off the bounce. You can't bounce too high. You hurt yourself on those spikes. <laughs> I love doing this. Poop, poop, poop. here you have to manipulate the screen a little bit there it is and get that one bee to come out if you don't it's hard to jump and hang on to the rope there with launch pad and there's nothing below you there you'll fall to your death if that bee hits you No thanks. You'll probably crash anyway. Avoid the spikes. Now right here, that treasure chest appeared there. If you keep going to the right, there is a, a big statue that will ask for a lot of money. It's like $300,000. We don't even have that yet in this stage. To, and he'll give you a lift to the top so you can go to the boss, but you don't have to do that. You can go right here. There's a hidden vine. Fall down this hole and it takes you right to the boss. And this is like, I guess, the possessed Incan statue. Ooh. One more. Next will be the African mines. Always do the moon last. I think that boss is the hardest. Yeah. So on this one, it's going to tell you right here at the beginning that you need a key to go any further. You can't get past this door. And the nephew there is going to tell you it's in Transylvania. So you got to go back to Transylvania. But luckily, it's just right here in that mirror top left there. Now, when you play Transylvania by itself, that mirror does not work. You cannot get this early and have it when you go there. You have to go to the African mines first, and it takes you there. So now we went through the door. You can hit these mine carts and make diamonds pop out treasure chest hidden. Now you can keep going to the right here and go through a lot of other parts of this stage, but we're going to go down hidden wall right here. I forget where you go to the left here, but we're going back to the right to another hidden area. Right here is Mrs. Beakley. She throws down power-ups. It looks like there's nothing over here to the right. There's nothing. But if you bounce, the enemies start popping up. You jump off of them, time it just right. And right here is our first hidden treasure. And that gives you a million dollars. 
And then this right here takes you right to the boss. So this boss is pretty easy. He balls up and goes either left or right. You just gotta jump. He's gonna go one way or the other. And he opens up in the middle and you can hit him. So the next stage is the moon. I don't know why I think this boss is harder. His, his movements are kind of erratic. Not quite a pattern like the rest of them. Now I love that they took the music from this game and used it in the new DuckTales with the story of Huey, Dewey, and Louie's mother, Della Duck, stuck on the moon. While she's there, she's singing this melody. And this was not from the original DuckTales cartoon show. It's only from the NES game here. And they used it in the new show. And I thought that was really cool. But first you have to go over here and find the key to the UFO. Because locked in the door behind the door in the UFO is, is going to be the remote control for Gizmo Duck and you need him to blow up a wall back down on the ground. So now we'll go over this way. You can bounce across the spikes here. Let's see. Ah. As long as you're bouncing you can bounce across the spikes. Oh, one more. <clears throat> so, so right here on this ledge, if you did not have the key already, one of your nephews would be up there and he would tell you, you got to find the key or you would not be able to get through this door right here. And there's Gizmo Duck's remote. If I time this right right here, get rid of him. Because if you don't, when you get the remote, it stops you. And as soon as it starts, that guy comes back down and hits you. Now there is one more secret. Go right up here. And you can tell you there's enemies off to the right there, but it looks like there's nothing. So we gotta bounce across them again. Bounce across these spikes. And here's another hidden treasure. Make our way back here. Now we can leave the UFO and get back to the ground. Hmm. This is tough. All right. So right here comes the wall. Gizmo Duck going to come out and blast it for us. Now there is a way, and the speedrunners do this. You can skip the UFO. You don't need Gizmo Duck. You can come stand right beside that wall and draw an enemy over near you and get hit. And it, it can clip you through the wall and you fall down. And you go straight to the boss without ever having to go into the UFO. And of course on the world record and all the good speedrunners, they, they had to manipulate it and make it work every time. I've got it to work a couple times. So here's the final boss. Well, not the final boss, but the boss for the moon stage. This rat runs around real fast everywhere. Kind of erratic. Not really a pattern. But I can tell. Alright. There we go. And he was hiding a piece of green cheese. Hey, if Uncle Scrooge wants it, it must be worth a lot of money. 
So that's all five stages. <coughs> and now somehow while you're sitting here, out of the blue somebody steals all your treasure from you. And it just goes flying. <laughs> and you get a message from Dracula Duck. You want to get back treasures come to Dracula Duck Manor. So you go back to Transylvania for the third time. I'm sure kids had nightmares about this stage back in the 80s and 90s. Cause like I said it earlier, if you don't know where to go, this, this stage can be a little maze-like. There's a lot more to it than what you're seeing me play here. We're just gonna go right to the end. Walk through this wall. Jump in the mirror on the right. The mirror on the left, it takes you somewhere else. I can't even remember where now. So here we go, the final boss, Dracula Duck. And you've got to bounce off of his bats, or the bats that come out, up onto him. Double bounce. And most of them are going to go too high. If you get greedy, you'll get hit. Like that. <laughs> There's one. Now there's a way to catch those bats just right every time, no matter how high they're going to go. And of course, the speedrunners can do it. But that's it. Now there's one more little part. There we go. Good bounce. May have beaten Dracula Duck, but not me. And that's going to be Flint, uh, Flint Heart Glom Gold. Behind everything, like always. And all you gotta do is climb up to the top here and jump on the treasure chest and that's it. And I actually have no idea what happens if you don't beat him to the top of the rope. It's so easy, even if you're on the ground when it starts, you just jump up and you can out climb him. I, I don't know what happens. And right here you see Scrooge with his treasure chest. Had I took the time to gather a bunch of the money and the diamonds and all that, he would have a big pile of gold behind it. So there are varying endings per se just a different little image there at the end but it's a really good game i highly recommend it to anybody you need this in your nes collection it's not complete without it <laughs> there's huey dewey and louie and they did help you along the way if you've never played it before you need to talk to them when you see them. They give you a lot of clues about what to do in each of the stages or where certain things are. But if you know, you know, you don't need them. So there you go. There's Capcom's classic NES game, DuckTales. One of my favorite shows as a kid. One of my favorite games as a kid. Heck, it's one of my favorite games now, today. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me a little bit today. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. I could use all the help I can get. And I'll see you again next time.